uh, what I'm going to show you is um, things that we have in Vira 2.0 for Mac. Well, basically, if you try to use such this type of texture to create displacement, for example, you want to create displacement where objects are close together, it's impossible to do that because this kind of texturing requires uh, actual ray tracing, and this happens during render time. And I'm controlling the, 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 the density of the fur as well as uh, how high it is with the help of this uh, uh, very distance texture. So I'm, I'm not sure if you're seeing, but the strands are changing their length uh, as I move this. And also, if you're animating a character running on grass, for example, uh, very easy to set up. You don't just a simple texture that's procedural, and you don't have to have a different texture for each frame of the animation. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, jump into Maya and uh, see what V-Ray is all about. Uh, so the functionality of V-Ray stretches well beyond just the rendering plugin. Uh, it can help you throughout the whole production process. So this is the RT uh, working and it's giving me instant feedback of uh, what is happening in the scene. Uh, of course, I can move the camera around and uh, the RT will respond immediately. Move the sun around and the RT will refresh the information. Uh, of course, I can change uh, the materials and uh, basically you can do whatever you want. Basically, Phoenix FD is a um, simulator, a fluid simulation. Uh, it's grid-based, effects like flame, smoke, uh, haze, and uh, with the latest patch that was released in January, you can actually uh, simulate uh, liquids as well. And you can see right away we have some flame going on. And the cool thing about Phoenix is that I can now start and play with the different settings of the simulation and I don't have to restart it every time to see what this, well, changing this value actually did. I can even move the object and uh, Phoenix will react. Uh, you will see exactly what's going on within the simulation. 